Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida, and I have my TRX4 here, 2021 Bronco Edition. And in this video, I was just going to review and actually use that Pro Scale winch that I went ahead and put on. So I got my remote here. We're going to run it on a 3S 5000 milliamp battery. And we're going to go ahead and see, is this winch for $100 a good buy for your TRX4, or should you look elsewhere? So I'm going to go ahead and take a look, get this all set up, and see how it works. Set up here, so to release it, you can either go ahead and release it this way, or you can just press the button on the winch, and then press it and receive it back. It's supposed to offer 10 pounds um i guess of strength or be able to pick up 10 pounds so this rig is fairly heavy so we'll see how it works and give it a try Woo, pretty tight there so it is kind of annoying i wish it was on the remote hopefully you guys can see this here that you can control it because then you do have to have this you know kind of in your pocket or put a leash on it or something so it is something to lose i do not like that so I'd rather have it just hooked up where you can have it on a channel on the remote. But let's go ahead and give this a try here. Take our rig. Alrighty, so typically we could do this first crawl without needing the winch. But for the sake of this, I might just use the winch. Just so we can give it a try and see how that winch works. So again, it's a little tall here. So let's see if I can Let's see here, get it stuck like, let's say right there. Again, just freeze it there, draw out the winch. Place the winch on here, there we go. So then we're gonna pull out our trusty remote Again, I'm gonna use no, no strength from the actual throttle. We're just gonna use the winch itself. So, pulling the rig up by itself. Not bad, we'll give it a, I think at a certain point, you're gonna to need to give it some gas here. No gas, now I'm gonna give it gas. And, whoa, pull on up. So, uh, not the strongest, I guess. Serviceable, we got it hanging there, so let me go ahead and pull it up to tight. But, you know, does the trick, I guess. And this is a completely stock rig, minus that winch, if you can even call that a real upgrade. It doesn't do much for performance. So let's go ahead and just go straight to the back and get on some crawls where the winch uh, might make some sense. Alrighty. Oh, gotta take the angle here. Again, no need for the winch here. Thankfully, it's a pretty capable rig. Not. Nah. What am I stuck on here? There we go. Oh, made it. No need for a winch there. But we'll give it some other terrain where the winch might be necessary. Again, this is a fairly easy climb for this guy. Not bad. See if we can get to a point. There's a point up there that's kind of meant for a winch. Let's pick our line a little bit better here.
Alrighty. Again, this rig is pretty confident, you know, competent just the way it is. But right here, this is a winch spot for this guy to get up that cliff there. So, cliff <laughs> to get up that rock. So let's go ahead and again, this is kind of pop that out. Get this up here. See if we can find a winch point for it. Maybe right on that rock there. Hmm, let's see. Let's see if I pull the winch tight. See, this is where it would be nice for it to be on the remote. Let's see if I can pull it. Where is it going to... There we go. Got it hinged or winched. Now let's not using the remote. It's bogged down. So holding the remote, give it a little bit of gas. Nice. Well, it worked with some gas. So, not the strongest winch, but uh, definitely serviceable. This is annoying. <laughs> Having it on one remote would be nice. Because if you are trying to use the winch and give it some gas and control the, the steering, um, you know, you got to use it in both hands. So, it's a little, little annoying. But... It does work a uh, hundred bucks you know maybe a little pricey there are a bunch of other winches on the market that are probably much stronger but it's serviceable and that's the way it works so you can see here and I guess I, I'm guessing this rig weighs at least about 10 pounds with battery so it does get a little bogged down all right here comes another spot where I think I'm going to try to use the winch. Yep, so let me go ahead and get it all set up. Again, put my remote down, or transmitter. It's a little clunky here. See if I can pull it tight. There we go. All right, so we're going to try just the winch alone. And this is on 3S power. See, bogged down. But we're going to use the winch and a little bit of throttle on the remote. See, it's kind of clunky. Pull it up. Kind of guide those tires. Popped off itself. And uh, got us over. And now we're stuck this way. There we go. Nice. And I think I got one more spot here where we can give it a try. This can be a little difficult. You got to really kind of see the body goes. Once you go sideways, that's it for this guy, for this crawl. So yeah, you're stuck. Then you can mangle up the body. So let's try that again. Nice and slow. Whoop. And here is always tough. So what I'll do is just purposefully use the winch. Got to keep some pressure on the throttle here. 
we'll release it with this, which is much slower. Find a good attachment point. Alrighty, put it under load and it's pretty strong. I mean, it's pulling little gas to get it up, pulling that whole bumper. Right up and over. So, and a little too over, <laughs> a little too much over because now, now I'm stuck. I gotta reverse. Let's see if I could manage this without making a mess of it and dropping the truck. There we go. Nice. So it did the job. It does the job. I think it does have plenty of strength for it. Putting it under load. And for a hundred bucks, plug and play. The remote's a little clunky to have something so separate. I wish they uh, worked it in where there was an extra channel on the transmitter. And you can kind of operate it from the transmitter. So you don't wind up losing that remote there. And it does, it does, you know, mess with the clearance angle. Uh, here's another, it doesn't need it. It'll climb up this on its own, but what we'll do is we'll use the winch just to do another show off of the wrench here. So go ahead and attach it onto maybe there. See if we can tighten it up. Oh, not hooked on anything. Let's see if we could uh, get it to hook. Nope. Hold on one second. Put this transmitter down. Let's see here. I want to hook right on this. There we go. We're from the full load. Look, I mean, it's picking up the whole back end. So maybe if I unlock the diff. No, so let's, ooh. Alrighty, so let's go up, give it a little bit of gas when it's loaded up. Oop, should probably watch that. Put a nice scratch right on the lid, but yeah. Nice. That worked well. All right, everyone, so to wrap up here, the Traxxas Pro Scale winch, how does it work? Well, it works pretty good. Uh, it's pretty strong, 100 bucks. It's nice that it's plug and play, it's easy to install. You can watch my other video about installing it. I, I do get a little bit bothered, you see here, you got, this extra remote and your transmitter and you're kind of fumbling with the both of them. But uh, once it loads up, it's, it's, it's actually pretty strong. It, it'll lift the back end, give it a little bit of throttle and direction with the tires and uh, it'll get up some, you know, some more difficult ter terrain. So uh, another thing to, to keep in mind, so uh, sorry to be so close there, but is that it does add this bulkiness to the front so it will mess with your approach in descent angles uh, and it will put some some good skids or uh, scratches on your skid uh, plate on the bottom there so let's go ahead and show you that so you know we're gonna scratch up those d-rings in that skid plate pretty good but hey that's what it's designed for so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully that showed you uh, how good it works and uh, if you should pick one up. I mean, there's a lot of options on the market there. Uh, if you just want to stick with Traxxas Electronics, plug and play, make it easy, run it on a 3S battery, you got plenty of strength, and I think that you'll have some good luck with it when you're going over some more difficult terrain. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a good one.